Tips and tricks for cutting and routing foam up to 110 mm thick. Because of differences in density and other properties, cutting foam at thicknesses of up to 110 mm presents unique challenges. We would like to illustrate some of these and offer suggestions on how to handle different types of foam. X-axis compensation Without X-axis compensation, blade properties and material thickness can lead to clearly visible conical distortions in the cup shape. To compensate for this effect, settings are available in Sundcut Center under Machining Step Settings, General and Advanced. The selected value should be tested before proceeding. The proper X-axis compensation produces a clean, straight cut. Radius limitations Because of the blade geometry, radii smaller than 13 mm are difficult, if not impossible, to cut cleanly. The blade has a tendency to displace and tear the material. This is an example of two circular cuts, one greater, the other smaller than 13 mm. Tool selection Because of their properties, soft foams are cut with the pneumatic oscillating tool. This tool has a longer stroke, which optimizes the cutting action. For foams with greater dimensional stability, Either the pneumatic or the electrical oscillating tool can be used. The difference between the two lies in the processing speed. Blade types There are two types of blades available for cutting foam. One has a pointed tip, the other a flat tip. The following example shows how the results differ between the two types. If a flat-tipped blade is used for cutting softer foam, it will displace the material as it plunges into it, causing it to tear. This example shows a pneumatic oscillating tool cutting softer foam using a pointed blade. Another important consideration for selecting the right blade is the blade length in relation to the thickness of the material, which impacts both cut quality and processing speed. The proper combination of tool parameters, type of blade and processing speed produces perfect results, with clean edges and no visible entry marks in the corners. Routing soft and stable foams. Zünd also offers the option to use a router for cutting foam. Dimensionally stable foam can be processed at high speed. The cleanup pass should be performed at the suggested maximum speed of 50 mm per second. Softer foams can be routed as well. For this type of material, both the routing and cleanup pass should be performed at the recommended maximum speed of 50 mm per second. With the correct settings, it is possible to achieve perfect results when routing either type of foam.